Giles. Uh, you are at 520 Pequocket Trail in Steep Falls, Maine at the Lady Luck Farm. This is home to, to myself and my four-legged friends, which are eight oxen and three dogs. Back when I first started, there was mostly husbands and wives, and that's how I got started. And since 1981, I have been doing this by myself. My herd has grown just because of my love for the breed and the love of the industry competing at the state fairs. I've been all over New England, as far away as New Jersey, with my animals, and I just like the camaraderie and the super friends that I've met at the fairs. My dad pulled horses before I was born, and that was back when you pulled them right out of the woods and went to the fairs. I train my own animals, but the men can get more out of them than I can because I'm five foot two, 135 pounds soaking wet, and these animals weigh up to 3,000 pounds apiece. The breed is Chianinas. It's an Italian breed, and right now I have seven of them. Six of them are related. They're all out of the same farm out of New Jersey. They are a very intelligent breed. They also are the biggest breed known to man. The breed was bred for their docility and willingness to work. Yes, they're hellions, so to speak. They can be very explosive. You've got to know that, yes, they could kill you. I've been kicked, I've been stepped on, but they don't do it maliciously. They'll go out of their way to protect you. They like to test you and they'll kick up their heels. Even the great big ones will do it. Um, I haven't turned my little ones out for a while and they're going out this afternoon because uh, one, they got fighting with each other and one loosened the horn. Get out of here, AJ. Come on. Come on, Whoop. There you go. It's 365 days a year and it's morning and night. They're all on their own Pacific diet and during the fair season when I'm competing to pull they're on a more pristine diet. Vitamins, minerals and then also exercising. The Kianinas, the white ones, the solid white ones here, they're workaholics. Well, I am too. The more I ask them to do, the more they want to do. Dominic and Caesar were my first two. They were named because of the Italian names and what they meant. They go all the way back to Julius Caesar. The Americans found them during World War II in Italy, where the breed is still maintained. They're fed in the morning before I go to work and cleaned out, and at night they come, I come back home and they're fed, cleaned out, and watered so usually my day ends at dark. This is my family. My two-legged family are gone, and they get treated better than a lot of kids do. And uh, they're spoiled brats, too. Best thing my dad ever taught me, an animal is like a kid. They only know what you teach them. If they've done something wrong, correct it then. Don't wait, because in five seconds, they're gonna forget what they did and then let them think about it, make them. If they do it again wrong, keep doing it until it's done right. This is not a profit thing. This is definitely a labor of love. All right, I guess.
You've got to have faith. It's just like in any animal. They are animals. And you learn their body language. You, because you got to know if they're sick. I have just put one of my best friends down. It was very hard. And I only had him for three years. Everybody has a name. Dominic and Caesar were my first two. They were at Eastern States. We crossed 15,000 pounds. It was absolutely beautiful. They were puffing, but within five minutes, they're ready to go again. They, their work ethics are amazing. And you ask them, you give, they give back. March to October, you're exercising. Regulating everything from maintaining all the property here, doing my job, and exercising them and getting them ready to go. The first poll is in June for me. I'm doing it because I love the industry. I believe in it. I have fought for it since we've got our laws on legislation, and I'll do it as long as I can do it. Retirement's not even in the document right now. Can't even figure it. As long as I can keep going, I'll keep going. Yes, it would be nice, but got to have something to help support this. This isn't a cheap hobby. Hay alone is over $9,000. Grain is right up there. It's probably 12000 The pulling team gets 16 quarts of grain a day when they're being exercised. The rest of them are getting six quarts of grain a day. These are my kids. I go without to get for them. You let them stand in the stalls, they don't like it. They don't like it at all. They do good, they mind. I have to make them mind because I'm here in the barn by myself. They know my body language better than most people do. They'll know if I come in here from having a bad day just by the tone of my voice and they'll jump to get out of my way. It's, it's scary sometimes that they're in tune. But this is my relief valve. Um, I'm not out uh, carousing or anything. I'm right here and I owe my health to these animals because they keep me going. I'm not ashamed to say I'm 65 and I love what I do, both at work and at home. Everything I do is 100%. Watch. My goal this year is a very big one. I've set the bar high. I want three pair ready to pull. In the past, I've been lucky if I've gotten one. And my prayers are that they're sound and I'm sound so we can do it together. You will, on hell or high water, always have these animals? As long as God allows me. I, somebody asked me when I'm gonna give it up and I says when he tells me I can't do it anymore. I just love them and as I said, they're keeping me going. They give me a reason to get up every day instead of sitting in front of the TV. 